Porthcawl is a town and community on the south coast of Wales, in the county borough of Bridgend, 25 miles west of the capital city Cardiff, and 19 miles southeast of Swansea City. Built in 1887 to commemorate Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee, Porthcawl's promenade runs along the seafront from Locks Common in the west to the harbour before joining the Eastern Promenade and leading to Coney Beach and Griffin Park. The promenade was restored in 1996. There are many cafes, bars, restaurants and hotels along the promenade, which offers views across the Bristol Channel. The high street offers a cluster of smart boutique type shops, with cafes, pubs and restaurants. As the number of people using the shops and services in Porthcawl Town Centre is on the rise. Rest Bay Beach is a golden, sandy beach on the outskirts of the town of Porthcawl. Backed by the Royal Porthcawl Golf Club, the beach faces southwest, which means that it is not sheltered from the Atlantic winds and the waves here can be quite large, making it a good beach for surfing, as well as wind kite surfing, when the waves are not too big, fishing. Bathing and canoeing are popular pastimes here. also known as Coney Beach, is a wide, sandy, and gently sloping beach, looking south, from near the center of the town of Porthcawl there are views out onto the Bristol Channel. The beach is wide, but there can be several hundred meters of sand separating the surf and the promenade behind the beach at low tide. It is a popular spot for surfing and swimming and is backed by an amusement arcade. Porthcawl 
is famous for one thing, and that's its fairground, Coney Beach. Join the M4 West to visit our next beach which is Aberavon. Aberavon Beach has 3 miles of sandy beach and the seafront has 2 miles of flat promenade. Making it very popular with cyclists and walkers alike. The beach has plenty of room for everyone to have fun safely. Without getting in anyone's way. The white sandy beach has views across Swansea Bay to Mumbles. It is very popular with surfers, jet skiers, wind surfers and kite surfers. It is also safe for swimming, kayaking and boating. Aberavon Seafront is a wonderful destination for a great family day out. Even in the cold or on a hot day, the safe sandy beach is a haven for hundreds of people enjoying either swimming in the sea or the aqua splash play pool which is conveniently located on the promenade and is a great draw for the kids. The Sunken Beach Shingle Garden. This peaceful area provides shelter from the sea breeze. The area has seating and is easily accessible by all via gently sloping entrances. The Whale Park. This is a great area for young children to play safely. The play sculptures provide an imaginative play area for the younger children. The RNLA and Coast Guard Stations. Aberavon Beach has both RNLI support and HM Coast Guard support. The Aberavon RNLI website has detail on local tides and weather forecasts. On our way to Swansea Bay our next beach, we pass the newly built and impressive Swansea University Bay Campus. You can unwind in the UK's first, 
area of outstanding natural beauty. Relax on award-winning Swansea beaches and explore unspoiled countryside. This region has some of the UK's best locations for marathons, walking, cycling, water sports and golf. And it's all within easy reach of the buzzing city of Swansea, home to Wales Premier League football team, Swansea City. can join the Welsh coastal path at this point in Swansea Bay. At 870 miles is the longest trail in Britain, tracing the coastline from Chester to Chepstow. Square in the heart of the city is where you will find the big screen and numerous organized events throughout the year. It is situated on the top of Wine Street, the nightlife area of the city. Just a stone's throw away you have the major shopping streets, Oxford Street, High Street, Park Tower, the Quadrant and Princess Way plus dozens of smaller shops who specialize in just about everything. Also in the middle of Oxford Street there is the largest indoor market in Wales. Get your cockles and lava bread there. Special visitors to Swansea City on Monday afternoon were Charlie and Blue from the South Wales Police Mounted Section Bridge Inn.
Z University, Singleton Park. Home to 3,000 students, the university is situated on Swansea Bay, where they will find plenty of fitness apparatus conveniently placed along the seafront to keep them fit. you have enjoyed the visit to Swansea City in Swansea Bay. We leave now for our next bay which is Oyster Mouth in the Mumbles. Oystermouth is a village in the district of Mumbles. Local beaches include the southern tip of Swansea Bay, Bracelet Bay, and from the Mumbles Head area, there are views towards Swansea and Port Talbot. Oystermouth was served by the Swansea and Mumbles Railway, one of the very earliest passenger rail services along a shoreline railway that was used in the 19th century to transport limestone and coal. One of Oystermouth's claim to fame is its castle. The 12th century Oystermouth castle is well preserved. In grounds with views over Swansea Bay, it was rebuilt in stone by the De Brioses, who were lords of the Gower, and visited briefly by King Edward I of England, in 1284. By the 16th century the castle was abandoned and in ruins. Before we leave Oyster Mouth let's take a look at some of the shops.
we end our journey from Porth Call to Mumbles, at Bracelet Bay, and the Pier. Thank you for watching our video of this part of South Wales, and the beautiful beaches. Mm -hmm.